welcome to our service of Compline this Tuesday, the 10th of January 2023. I'm Reverend Carroll with the Kingsbury and Baxterley Group of Parishes. Apologies for my voice. I am suffering the cold that's going around everywhere. I hope that you're keeping safe and well. So this evening we are celebrating William Lord, who was Archbishop of Canterbury. And so a little bit of information about him. William Lord was appointed Archbishop of Canterbury by his friend and ecclesiastical ally, King Charles, in 1633. The aim of both Archbishop and Monarch was to counter the reforming Puritan movement, which emphasised personal and ecclesial austerity as a means of sustaining conversion. Lord was a high churchman who felt that the majesty of God should be reflected in the liturgy of the church and rigorously set about ensuring that its ministers should practice what he preached. His relentless approach left no room for variance of practice, but neither did the Puritans. And the latter had the upper hand in Parliament and eventually impeached him in 1640 and imprisoned, imprisoned him in the Tower of London. His friend, the King, did not, or could not, come to his assistance and he was beheaded on this day in 1645. So, um, we commemorate him really as a martyr for his faith. So, in the usual way, I will attempt to share my screen. The words you see in bold are for you to join in with, should you wish to do so. Otherwise, just listen and enjoy. There we go. And uh, here is a picture of William Lord, Lord Archbishop of Canterbury. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Do we take a few moments of quiet as we reflect on the past day, bring all our thoughts and concerns to God. We say together, we confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Do we listen now to the convivium singers?
Our psalm this evening is Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me and hearken unto my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye blaspheme mine honour and have such pleasure in vanity and seek after leasing? Know this also, that the Lord hath chosen to himself the man that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not, commune with your own heart and in your chamber, and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There may be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart since the time that their corn and wine and oil increased. I will lay me down in peace and take my rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening comes from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 9. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And we listen again to the convivium singers and their version of the Nunc Dimittis.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Let us kneel in homage as we pray to God, the King of Kings. We offer our richest gifts of prayer and praise, knowing them imperfect, but trusting in the holiness of Christ to make them holy. As the wise men were led by a star to Bethlehem, so guide your pilgrim church to worship in holiness and bow down in adoration until the time when your purpose is accomplished. Give wisdom to the rulers of this world, that they may see the light of truth and follow the way of peace. Let them not be moved by fear or envy. Make them ready to see you in what seems small and unimportant, so that their power is used, not in pride, but in service. Do we continue our prayers for the Ukraine. As we have known the joy of Christmas and rejoiced in the gift of the Holy Child, may we now bring to him our gifts of love and reverence. Make our lives in our families and in all our meetings with others tokens of the treasures that in our hearts we offer to the Lord. We pray especially for our communities and those who live or work in Pear Tree Avenue and Perryman Drive in Kingsbury, Wakefield Close in Hurley, Edge Hill in Woodend, and Smithy Lane in Baxterley. Look with mercy on those whose journeys through the world are long and who can see no guiding star. Bring them through the hard places of sickness and sorrow until they may set down their burdens and rest. We pray especially for all those who have asked for our prayers at this time, and for those also preparing for marriage, Alistair and Hannah. Give grace to those who are seeking truth and cannot find their way. Lead them to the feet of Christ. Receive the souls of the departed into the kingdom where all journeys end and all worship is fulfilled in glory. Praying especially for Ronald Frank Yates, Pearl Wilcox, Andrew Lockton and Doris Hopkins. Give grace as little Bethlehem was made great by the divine birth. So may those who are humble and unregarded in this world be numbered with the saints in heaven. We make our offering of prayer to Christ, King, Priest, 
and atoning sacrifice. Amen. We pray the collect. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyr William Lord triumphed over suffering and was faithful unto death. Strengthen us with your grace, that we may endure reproach and persecution, and faithfully bear witness to the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makes us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this evening. I wish you all a safe, peaceful and quiet night and look forward to seeing you again next week. In the meantime, take care. God bless. <laughs>